All right, so intermediates and high ranks. Today, you guys are working sparring movement. Okay, so we're gonna actually teach you how to work movement around uh, furniture, around the chair, and also just different ways you can do it around your house. Okay, so on top of this though, on top of working sparring movement, we want you to review your form today. That means if you already have it memorized, we want you to go ahead and do it. Um, let's go with 10 times, do your form 10 times. You don't have it memorized. I want you to go to your form video um, on YouTube. And I want you to watch it. The breakdown was scheduled for last week. So if you go to your belt rank, to your breakdown, watch your form, practice it, get it down. And then I actually want you to send me a video of your form so that I can critique it, make sure that you're doing it correctly so that at testing, you will have it down already. And so that we can go ahead and stripe you as soon as you show us you've got it. Okay, so sparring movement in class, form, go back, practice your form. I want you to do it 10 times, that's not a lot. Just making sure we have that muscle memory going, practicing it, and then you are also going to be working on one stance. We're gonna break it down, turn it into a workout, okay? So, so let's start with movement. All right, for movement today, I'm gonna to be using a chair as my opponent. Okay, you can use any household item that's human shaped. You can use a uh, coffee table, a couch, uh, recliner, a small child, a pet that will sit still. If the dog is like moving, you can follow it. Um, but I recommend a chair. Okay, so for movement, when we spar, we do not just face off and stay in the same spot the whole time. Okay, we should never stay right here sparring, moving, in front of this chair the whole time. We should always go to all four sides moving in and out, okay? A chair is an inanimate object. That means it does not move, it does not live, it does not breathe, it does not talk. So that means we're not gonna be um, moving a whole lot um, around. So we're not gonna be moving back and, and forwards and all these different directions. But that does mean I have an opportunity to work on getting to every angle without this chair stopping me. Okay, so my hands are up because we are sparring. Do not drop your hands. If I see dropped hands in your class videos, we're gonna do push-ups, okay? Actually, parents, if you see your uh, kiddo drop their hands while they're working movement, that's five push-ups for them, okay? All right, so your hands are up. You're in a good, strong, ready sparring stance. Make sure that you are facing the chair. There's no use in facing this way because that leaves your whole side open to them. Okay, this is an opponent. We're gonna be here. I want you to move where your back leg is leading or where your front leg is leading, okay? We're not gonna cross our feet here. All right, so if I'm leading with this one, I'm gonna step over and you can even step back or you can step forward. And now I'm in front of him again. Imagine he's facing me. All right, so then I can move back over over and back okay so what we're about to do i'm probably going to do a lot less talking i need you to copy me as we do movement around the chair okay ready and hands up i am ready and begin Now, we're gonna add on to that, okay? So, we're gonna add a combo, because I know you guys worked sparring combos last week in your sparring section. So, this week, actually I think it was two weeks ago, but this week, we're going to be working our movement with our chair, and if you wanna add combos, just don't actually hit the chair, it might hurt. Okay, so we're gonna be here, hands are up. I want you to jab cross, you can jab cross, round kick, Move, don't stand still, punch, punch, move. I want you moving around, round kick, step, front kick, punches, okay? I want you working all your kicks, motions, beautiful. side kick over that chair, I will be impressed, okay? But keep moving, don't stand still. You should be breathing pretty hard at this point, all right? Keep it up. Black belts, you can throw in some of your 
twist kicks, spins. Don't actually hit the chair, remember. If you spin, kind of spin, kick over the chair, and don't actually hit the chair. Keep it up. You got it, guys. Keep moving. Punches, kicks. All right. Now, I'm working up a good sweat. I don't know about you guys, but guess what? Your challenge is to take this chair with you or your inanimate object of your choice, and I want you to work some movement around your house, okay? Or if you have a pet, a parent, or a sibling that says it's okay, make sure you ask them. I know the dog can't answer, but make sure you ask the uh, human that you ask um, for permission before you do this. Otherwise, stick to the chair, guys, okay? So what I want you guys to do is work your movement around this object, person, animal. I want you to work movement around them. Do not hit them. Don't just work foot movement if you're using something living, okay? I want you to move all around. Like if they start moving, you, you follow. You keep on going, all right? If your chair starts moving, that's creepy. But you can move the chair and do your movement in different parts of the house, okay? So if you have a sibling, that's in martial arts with you, both of you are similar belts or something like that, you guys can work movement with each other. Do not actually hit each other though. We're just working movement, okay? So I wanna see it. I wanna see that footwork. Remember, if you're in leadership class, you know that footwork is a principle of power. So I wanna see it. Y'all are gonna do this. Go ahead and do it for at least 10 minutes. So remember your challenge earlier, I want your form 10 times. I want movement for 10 minutes and then now we're gonna break down the stance, okay? All right, guys, the stance we're gonna break down today is actually super simple. It is a front stance, okay? A front stance is made where you have one leg behind, one leg in front. Doesn't matter which one, you can switch, and it should look the same. Both feet are pointing that direction. My front knee is bent, my back leg is straight, okay? Both feet are pointing this way. One is not slightly turned, pointing off into outer space. Okay, now my hands, when I'm in a strong stance, never go below my belt, okay? That would equal push-ups, okay? They can either be chambered or they can be, cham they can be chambered at your ribs, at your belt, or they can be chambered up in guard. Today, have them up in guard because we're working on movement anyway. You have to have those hands up. So, switch. Good job, and switch. Good job, switch. All right, now I have a challenge for you guys. It's a fun challenge. Okay, we're gonna be in a front stance and I want you to keep your left leg in front. You're gonna spin all the way around. You're gonna jump spin, okay, ready, set, go. Okay, you get to do land in a front stance. It's a little tricky, let's do it again. Ready, and go. Nice, okay, let's try the other leg. Ready, jump, spin. Nice. Okay, let's do it one more time. Ready, jump, spin. Very good job. All right, that's your front stance breakdown. Better see excellent front stances now. And get to work, guys. Y'all are doing great. And stretch out with me real quick and then start doing those forms. Y'all are awesome. Bye.
guys, go ahead and get like you're going to be in a plank, but touch your hips to the floor and stretch your head up to the sky as high as you can. Now we're gonna go out a little further, stretching out those abs, those core muscles. Good, okay, this one's tricky. You're gonna keep your hip on the floor and you're gonna take your hand around behind you. This is stretching your obliques, which is the side of your abs. Take your other side. This is also stretching your back. So this is a really good stretch for all around. Okay, going back down and pressing up and back. Okay, this is called a child's pose and it also is stretching out your back, your arms, your core. It's a really good relaxing uh, stretch to do. All right, take your opposite hand through your other hand and we're gonna stretch that shoulder muscle out. Excellent job. All right, now we're gonna take our other hand through that hole and stretch. All right, come around, sit down and put those feet straight out in front of you. Grab your toes. Lean as far forward as you can. You can press your toes out, stretch your back, or you can pull your toes back and stretch those calves out. Good job, guys. Try and go further every single time on this one. Way to go today, guys.